A few days ago, I got a letter from Jerry, one of our readers, and Jerry asked a great question. Jerry asked, what's the difference between the ATR and the ADX indicator, all right? And I understand that they sound very similar and a lot of traders might find them confusing, all right? But the ATR indicator actually measures volatility. It has nothing to do with actually measuring market action, okay? While the ADX indicator is one of the best indicators for momentum. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm gonna get deep, deep into the ADX indicator and I'm gonna explain to you how it works, how you can benefit from it, and how it can help you pick strong momentum-driven stocks. So let's get into it now. Momentum is one of the market's most powerful forces, but how do you spot the best high momentum stocks to buy? I held a spontaneous live class yesterday and shared my full-blown momentum strategy. You can catch the replay after this lesson. Just click the button below. Now let's check out the mighty ADX indicator. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to use the ADX to filter for momentum. Now, a lot of traders avoid the ADX, and I'll explain why. The ADX has three lines. It has the DMI plus line, the DMI minus line, and then it has the ADX line. Now, I know what you're thinking, Roger's gonna go and get all technical and get all mathematical with me, and he's gonna start explaining all these three lines, but I'm not gonna do any of that. Here's what I'm gonna teach you. You're gonna completely avoid the DMI plus and minus lines. They are completely useless, they won't help you make any money, and none, no back test that I've ever done have, has shown any benefit by using the DMI plus or the DMI minus line, ever in history. So the only line, when you put up the ADX indicator, the only line you wanna focus on is the ADX line. Now, what you need to know about the A ADX indicator, it's non-directional. What does that mean? It means that if the trend is going down strongly, or if the trend is going up strongly, the ADX will begin to trend. It's, it doesn't, move differently when the trend is up or down. So if the market's going like this, you'll see an ADX of 30. When the market's moving like this, you may see an ADX of 30, okay? So that's number one, it's non-directional. Number two, if the ADX is below, below 25, that means no trend. So first thing you need to figure out if the market's moving higher or lower. Now, assuming it's moving in the direction that you're looking to go long or short, then you have to determine if the ADX is greater than 25, okay? If it's not greater than 25, that means the market is not trending. When the ADX gets to 30 or 40, that means the trend is now really, really strong and you may wanna wait for a pullback if you're trading pullbacks. But if you're trading momentum stocks, an ADX to 30 is an optimal amount. Now the ADX is an amazing momentum indicator and it works really well. Now there's one more thing you need to know about it though to make it work right. You need to make sure that you change the look back period from 14 days to 10 days. Let's clean that up a little bit. It comes standard as a 14-day look-back period. In other words, the index looks at the trading range of the past 14 days to make its decision. We're swing trading, we're very active. We're not doing this for buy and hold. So we want our trends to last a little, we want our reaction time to be a little faster, and we want the indicator to be a little more nimble. So we change the days from 14 days to 10 days. So once again, let me review, and then we can move forward. Number one, you ignore the DMI positive, and you ignore the DMI negative lines, okay? Number two, it's non-directional. The ADX is non-directional. And number three, instead of going, instead of looking back 14 days, we look back 10 days, okay? So change the setting from 14 days to 10 days, ignore the DMI plus, DMI minus, 
and ignore and make sure to know that it's non-directional and look for a reading of 25 or greater. If it's not 25 or greater, that means the asset's not trending. It's a great indicator and it's one of my best or favorite toolbox indicators for finding momentum. Hope this helped. The trend may be your friend, but in this market, you need to know exactly who your friends really are. So keep ADX close and my momentum strategy even closer. Click below to learn more about how you can use momentum to find the best breakout stocks and options now.